Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring this video. Hello, welcome back. I am finally back in Canada, back at home, and honestly, I'm really happy to be home. This was two week vacation in Italy and it was awesome. So many good memories and a lot of just like adventuring around, but you know that feeling when you like, you just wanna be back home. And especially after like a long journey, wearing masks with COVID and all this stuff, I was ready to be back home. So I'm glad to be here and to start with some more projects back home. And I was first thinking that it might actually make sense for me to start in the kitchen with some things I had on my mind. Specifically, I was thinking, you know, you just wanna get back into something that's gonna be relatively quick, relatively easy, lift up my spirits and get me ready for what's next. And so I thought in this video and today, I would do a little challenge with myself to see how many projects I can do in 30 minutes with Cricut because I've been having these ideas in my head for a while. This video is sponsored by Cricut, but all the project ideas are my own. So I am very excited to see them implemented in my space. I think I'm gonna do a tea towel that I've had in mind for probably like eight months. I think I'm gonna do some glasses because I want some cute glasses for boba that I have. Like I bought boba off Amazon and like, I wanna make it in a cute glass. Let's do it. Okay, so I've got my Cricut Maker 3 just sitting here on the floor. This is usually where I do work. I know a lot of people have desk setups, but for me on the floor is like the best. I was on Instagram earlier and I had several people message me be like, what is Cricut? And I was like, oh, how could you not know? So I thought I would tell you at least. Cricut is a smart cutting machine and it's super, super handy. It can cut so many different types of materials so that you can basically customize things and decorate things to your liking. So for instance, this can cut like over 300 types of materials from like iron-on vinyls to permanent vinyls, temporary vinyls, things that you can use for crafts. It could also do cardstock, aluminum, wood veneer, leather, so many different types of materials, it is insane. And this is like, I would say probably the best craft machine for not only hobbyists, like if you just love crafting like I do, this is awesome. But I know so many people who actually started businesses using a Cricut because that's how people are like customizing tumblers and customizing like teacher's gifts and t-shirts and all sorts of different things. So. I think this is just like a really handy tool and really fun, even if you just want something that's a nice treat for yourself. Also, do I wish something like this existed when I was little? Absolutely, I would have begged my parents to buy this for me. Okay, so the first project I'm actually gonna do is gonna be a tea towel because this has been something that's been on my mind for a long time. And why you might ask? Well, basically because I have had these linen sheets that I stopped using shortly after I got them just because I realized it was making my hair super dry. And I've had this idea to turn the like pillows of them into tea towels because I just think it's a great way to reuse the material and I think that they're kind of like the perfect shape and everything. Linen is also super absorbent. So I felt like it was a good way to just like reuse it and keep it as a piece of decor even though I'm not using it in the traditional sense. So this is just one of them. I'm going to make one for now and then we'll see whether or not I make like a whole set of them or whether I wanna customize different designs later on. So for this one, I was thinking I wanted to do kind of like a little leaf pattern. So like different leaves all over this in kind of a staggered pattern. I thought it would be really cute. I love things that are like asymmetrical, you know, organic kind of looking and this would fit all the whole bill. So let's get started with this. I am going to quickly just whip something up in design space. Basically you can access a bunch of free images, including like a million different leaf designs. So I'm just gonna go look some up, pull them down really quick, put them into a nice little staggered design, and then we'll get to making it. Okay, so this is my final design. Let's see if you can see it. Beautiful, do you see how many different types of leaves there are that I just pulled in real quick? And hopefully this will look like exactly as I envision. So I have this iron on vinyl, which is awesome. I've used it before and I'm just gonna put it on the mat and then load it in and then we'll cut it. Super simple. Always find 
find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high It's always so cool when it starts cutting like this You can actually barely see the cutouts but like they are there It is doing the cutting I can tell that you're tough Just the sound of you when I'm at my weakest point makes a world of difference so oh, you make me strong pretty little thing you're a diamond in the rough shining from within I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup okay so I did all of the cutouts and everything and look at how cute this is I've got this one on this sheet, I've got some more over here, and now we're just going to use the Easy Press, which is just like Cricut's version of a perfect iron solution for this, and we're going to heat transfer it on. Super simple, and I love doing this. I made shirts before, super fun as well. So I love how this turned out. First of all, I love the fact that I was able to use an old bed pillow sham that like I'm never gonna use outside of that because it's linen, but it makes a perfect tea towel. I also love the design just in general because I love that they're like all different little unique shapes of leaves and little like herbs and stuff that's so, so cute. I feel like that aligns so well with me as a person because I love things that are asymmetric and different and I just think it's really, really cute. So kudos to this one and I wonder what I should do with the other ones because I have several linen pillow, pillow shams and actually I was doing an Instagram live today and someone said oh you can turn like different ones into different grocery bags and stuff like that like if I want to repurpose the linen sheets and duvet cover and I thought oh that's a fantastic idea and I could print them with cute messages and stuff too so maybe I'll do that next time but for now this one is beautiful in my opinion so I thought now I should work on something a little bit different also leveraging my Cricut machine because why not and I was thinking I got these cups actually I got four of them but I'll show you two they look like little cans you know what I mean they look like cans and I thought this would be super cute for boba and like specialty drinks and stuff smoothies if I ever make a smoothie <laughs> or a juice and stuff like that so I wanted to print these with little flowers. So I think I'm just gonna pop over to Cricut's design space on my computer and just mock up a little design of some pretty flowers and then we'll put those on there. I took a look earlier at the different flower options that there were and I already saw ones that I absolutely love. So we'll see which ones I go with and then we'll put them on. We'll have new cups and actually I have boba. Let me show you. Is boba the right word? I have bubble tea, like a taro bubble tea that I bought. Do, 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 do. but where is it I don't know that says boba tea mix taro but yeah I got this stuff and it's supposed to be like taro the purple one and have boba in it and I thought that would be perfect so maybe I'll attempt to make that afterwards how do I do this though does this not come with the boba in it though I feel like this doesn't come with the boba wait I'm gonna open this do I need to buy boba Oh, it doesn't come with the boba. Why did I think that it would? It smells good though. Any food. Okay, so <laughs> literally in just a couple seconds, I have mocked up my little design in design space. Do you want to see it? Can you see the flowers? Just like that. Look at how cute that will be. I just want some big like daisy type flowers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and 
print them out and look the sun has come out right now today's a good day okay okay so for this one i'm actually going to use a premium vinyl and i realized recently that with this new cricut maker machine because this is the cricut maker 3 and before i hadn't explored 2 and with the new machine you don't need these cutting mats if you're using smart material so like these cutting mats if you use the smart material you don't need them and if i had thought ahead a little bit better i would have got smart material so that i didn't need to use the mat because that totally saves you like a whole step in like the whole process so i'm gonna stick it on the mat so i'm just going to press make it on a mat continue Okay, check out the little cutouts that the Cricut machine has done. You can see the little flowers reflecting. Oh, I just love that the sun has come out. It's like so bright in here. You keep on waiting, but then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me want to try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear How pretty is this? Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Like, imagine this on glasses. How adorable. Like, oh, this is dream. <laughs> Except I'm gonna make it a reality because these are actually gonna be my glasses. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. Okay, so not an over exaggeration. I am obsessed with this glass. It is beautiful. And now I'm just trying to decide should I do the rest of the three glasses that I have with this exact same print, or should I do them with different prints, mix it up, some hearts? Because I feel like I'm obsessed with hearts. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so should I do that, or should I do them all matching just like this? But this is so cute. I am literally obsessed with this to die for, love it. And so fast to do as well. You can customize it with whatever you want. This would make such a cute gift too. Like if you wanted to customize something specific, just saying. So I just wanted to say thank you once again to Cricut for sponsoring this video. It's because of sponsors like Cricut that I'm able to do what I do and live my childhood dreams of crafting and decor and all sorts of stuff like that. So if you're interested in getting a Cricut machine or getting some supplies, go through my link down below. That helps me, that helps my channel. And I'm thinking at this point, I might as well make the tea with minus the boba, AKA the whole purpose of these glasses. I don't have the boba, but I will have a cool purple drink. So let's attempt to make this. I was just looking at the bottom. Oh, did I open this up on, yeah, I opened it on camera to see there's like no boba. I was like, did I do that off camera? But yeah, it says add one tablespoon of powder to a little bit of hot water, then add some sugar and then add milk. Let's do it. Well, let's see if my ice is frozen. Ooh, is it? Ooh, hard to say. No, it's not frozen yet. Okay. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day. Had to think about that last, you know, tenth of a teaspoon. So 
So are we ready for a taste of our taro bubble tea minus the bubbles because I don't have them out of my brand new Cricut made glass? I think I need to add some more ice because my ice was a little bit sad. I had to like strain out the water from the ice <laughs> to make it legit, but super cute glass. Pretty good drink. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, I think. Enjoy this later, but it's probably all I'm gonna do today. I think I'm gonna head out with one of my friends tomorrow, take you along a little vloggy type segment. So see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. So. Today I'm going to do something really exciting because I'm actually going with my best friend and her mom and sister to a neighboring town to go check out some little shops and go to lunch at a pretty garden. It's gonna be a fun adventurous day. It's very early in the morning right now. She's heading over here. We're gonna start on our drive and I'm gonna take you along. So we'll see what we find there. We'll see if there's anything cool that I wanna buy and hopefully just enjoy our little day together. So on we go. And this is my little outfit that I have on. Pretty dress, I like it, I'm ready. I added some hula hoops, what do we think? I like them, they're from Anna Luisa, my favorite. This is my best friend. We've been friends forever. You want to say something? Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you. She watches my videos. <laughs> She's my only friend who watches my videos. <laughs> we are not the only one. I can't be the only I one. I think she is. We're having lunch at this garden, which is cool. I'm joining along with her family. And then we're going to go around, I guess. Very excited. Should There's so fun. many nice flowers around. We'll show you. Those are up. Oh yeah, those totally are. But my question is, how is it growing like right against the house? Do you see that? So cool. Mm -hmm. 